I'm Sally Carlisle, an attorney here at the Law Office of Brian Fagan. Understanding all the aspects of going through a divorce in Texas can be tricky and complex. For example, there is no legal separation law in the state of Texas, and Texas is a community property state which means all assets and property accrued during your marriage belongs to both you and your spouse. That property and those assets will be divided in half between you and your spouse. This means the property you own at the time of your death or divorce will be presumed to be part of your community estate. It doesn't matter whose income was utilized to purchase or acquire the property. It doesn't matter whose name appears on the title or receipt of the document. All that matters is the property was in existence at the time of your divorce. If you do not believe your property should be divided in half and shared with your future ex-spouse, then you'll need to prove with evidence that the property should be part of one of your separate estates. The two main examples of when property acquired during your marriage will not count as community property is when it is given by a gift or by inheritance. If someone gifted you with a monetary gift, but somehow made it specific for only you, then this would be considered separate property belonging to just you. The second example is if someone passes away and they leave you money or property in their will. This would also be counted as separate property under the community property laws of Texas. With that said, you're married until you're not. This means before the divorce is filed, during the divorce, and up until the moment that your final decree of divorce is signed by the judge, you are still married. That lotto ticket purchased during your marriage counts as community property. However, if you win the lottery after you have already been divorced, then this would count as your separate property. Please keep in mind that an increase in your income or assets because of your lottery winnings or even because of a recent pay raise could lead to an increase in your child support responsibilities. Your ex-spouse will most likely learn about your winnings and make an argument that your resources have increased therefore requiring you to increase your monetary help with your children's needs. The one thing you must not do is hide the fact that you have won the lottery. While hiding money, assets, or property from your spouse is not technically illegal, it is, however, highly unethical and definitely frowned upon by judges. If you or your spouse signed a premarital or prenuptial agreement prior to your marriage, and you try to hide your lottery ticket winnings from your spouse, then your prenup could be thrown out by the judge. Authenticity and integrity are all important qualities to possess when going through a divorce. The truth always comes out, and I mean always has a way of coming out. I hope you found this video very helpful. As always, please let us know how we can assist you with all your family law needs. We are here for you at 281-810-9760. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and turn on the post notifications for our YouTube channel. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook for more updates.